Sammy Guevara tries to exercise creative control he doesn't have. New Japan pro wrestling megastar Kazuchika Okada might be coming to Impact Wrestling soon. If Impact Wrestling is smart, they will inquire about young lion Ren Narita and a dumb comment that I discuss pretty quickly. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Real quick, if you haven't already done so, we got some great content up on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Head on over there and hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's get into it. Sammy Guevara was pulled from the recent set of Impact TV tapings after a creative disagreement. Let me read the report here uh, from Russell's own. It says, according to the report, uh, Sammy Guevara was slated to appear on Impact Wrestling, but did not like the creative direction of the angle and made it known to executives. Chris Jericho apparently came up with the idea and pitched it to Tony Khan, who in turn got in contact with Impact Wrestling about making it happen. However, Impact was not on board with whatever the idea was. And it was said that Tony Khan then came up with a second idea, which was given the green light by Impact Wrestling. Impact reportedly received a direct message from Sammy Guevara who made it known that he did not like the creative direction of the angle when Impact officials told Tony Khan of the news Tony was reportedly very upset about it Jericho reportedly went even went as far as reaching out to Don Callis about banning Sammy Guevara from Impact moving forward Jericho who would eventually tell Guevara to go home and not to continue to Nashville for the TV tapings. Okay, Sammy Guevara here is trying to exercise creative control. In my opinion, I don't believe he has. Okay, remember, this is Sammy Guevara, not Chris Jericho. If it was Chris Jericho, you know, and he wasn't happy with the creative direction of an angle, Chris Jericho, with the pull he has, with, with the years he put in, he has the the say in in the creative direction of his character in my opinion chris jericho does sammy guevara at this point in his career does not so so sammy guevara basically he basically told his boss in my opinion to f off okay because tony khan tony khan came up with the idea and, and I like the fact that Tony Khan, they came up with an idea and Impact Wrestling, they heard the first idea and they didn't like it. They didn't want to roll with it. So I, I, I'm glad that, they, that, they, that they're not just um, accepting anything that AEW is, is throwing at them uh, or I, I should say throwing at them, suggesting, suggesting to them. Uh, they want to make sure that it works. So, so good job, Impact Wrestling, you know, for saying, no, nah, no, nah, the first idea is not going to work. And, but then the second idea, they said, okay, let's do it. And, uh, and again, this is Tony Khan. This is Sammy Guevara's boss who came up with the idea. And, and Sammy Guevara, you know, nixing the idea that came from his boss, I think is, 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 is a big no-no, man, is a big no-no. Um, Sammy Guevara, I, I just, I, I've read somewhere that uh, Sammy Guevara could be a troublemaker, uh, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But but bottom line is, you know, if your boss comes up with something, comes up with a, with an angle, and and they're in a very happy and I think successful so far partnership with with Impact Wrestling, and it seems to be working out well, and your boss comes up with an angle for you to go over to Impact Wrestling, and you decide that nah, I don't like the I don't like the direction it's going, <clears throat> I don't like the direction it's going. You know, that's um see I could I couldn't do that. See, I, I work for a company and um I uh I sell safety shoes out of the back of a truck. I take my truck and I go to, to companies and uh, sell safety shoes. You know, it's, it's a good good paying job. Uh, but if my boss called me up and said, Lewis, we're gonna try to we're gonna we're gonna start um we wanna try to sell um Cocktail frankfurters, cocktail or, or hot dogs. We, we want to start selling food items out of the back of the truck uh, when you go to sell this. Uh, when you go to sell the safety shoes, I, I think that's a terrible idea. But if my boss wants me to do it, you know, I, I really have no say in it. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I, I might not be happy with it. 
I might not want to do it, but bottom line is my boss is, is saying, let's try this and I have to give it a try, right? I have to do it. So I can't say no because yeah, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, I want to stay in uh, the good graces of my boss. So I have to do it. But the same thing here with Sammy Guevara, same thing here with Sammy Guevara. He was given creative direction and he was, uh, he was given an angle to work with, to work on in Impact Wrestling, and and he decided, it. I don't like the creative direction of, of this angle that, that my boss, Tony Khan, came up with, right? So that's, uh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. And, and Tony Khan being angry with Sammy Guevara, he has every right to be angry. And Chris Jericho also, who seemed to be heavily involved with uh, coming up with this angle, uh, should be upset as well. But the whole AEW storyline is Sammy Guevara uh, was with... Um, Oh, I forgot the name of the faction. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's not important. But he was with um, faction, uh, Chris Jericho's faction. And uh, he decided that he no longer wanted to be a part of the faction. And uh, he left. So the idea was for him to go to Impact Wrestling to, you know, I guess show his disdain to AEW and um, and the faction. And and I apologize for forgetting the name. Uh, it's just, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I, I don't want to harp on it too much. Uh, but... Um, Go to, go to Impact Wrestling and you know work in Impact Wrestling for a bit. And I thought that was good. But whatever the creative angle was, you know, there's no reason why Sammy Guevara should have said no. I mean, I think how bad could the angle have been? You know, it's it's I don't I don't think they wanted him to, you know, be uh be like Johnny Swinger's uh, bodyguard or anything like that, or or try to hide the try to join Falama and try to try to hide that money from Hernandez. I don't think that was the angle. Uh, so, so Sammy Guevara, you know, I, like I said, at this point in his career, he really doesn't, I, I don't think he should be trying to exercise creative control. I don't think he should be trying to exercise creative control. And, and the whole thing could have put the, uh, the, the AEW and Impact Wrestling Partnership in jeopardy, right? Because uh, they have a partnership, they have a working agreement and Sammy Guevara not, not um, cooperating could have put that partnership, you know, in jeopardy. But, but from what I read, from what I read, everything is okay. Uh, um, the relationship is is still golden. I read that on another website. It's still golden, and uh, I'm sure uh, Sammy Guevara is going to go back and get reprimanded by Tony Khan and Chris Jericho, and I'm sure he'll have a a a good talking to by both. And I'm sure other members of the roster will sit. Uh, some some like Cody Rhodes, some other older members of the roster roster with more experience, we'll sit down with Sammy Guevara and um, give, give him a good tongue lashing. Give him a good tongue lashing. All right. So, and speaking of this partnership, you know, let's think about this for a second. The Impact Wrestling AEW partnership. So far, we've seen um, coming over to Impact Wrestling, we've, we've seen Kenny Omega, uh, Private Party, um, Matt Hardy, uh, Sammy Guevara was supposed to be coming over, uh, but uh, he nixed the idea. And uh, and so those are the guys that have come over. We need to see um, going over to AEW. So far, we've only seen the Good Brothers and and Father Mitchell. <laughs> I thought that was great that they they brought Father Mitchell in to um, to um, conduct that uh, that wedding. Um, I think it was Kip Sabian and I think it was Penelope Ford. Uh, so Father Mitchell was 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 um, on AEW and. We need to get some more talent over there. I like to see Sammy uh, Callahan show up. I like to see Sammy Callahan show up to, to, to um, AEW and uh, align himself with John Moxley. I think that would be fantastic. But I think we need to, see, need to see other talent besides the Good Brothers heading on over to AEW and, and part of this uh, this agreement. So hopefully we'll see that soon down the road. And speaking of people coming to Impact, New Japan Pro Wrestling Megastar. Former two-time IWGP heavyweight champion, Kazuchika Okada, one of the absolute best wrestlers in the world, could be coming to Impact Wrestling. The report is uh, Dave Meltzer reporting on it. Um, Dave Meltzer saying, let me pull it up here. Dave Meltzer saying that uh, Kazuchika Okada will be coming to either uh, Impact Wrestling. He's expected to appear um, in Impact Wrestling or AEW Wrestling. Uh, and I'm thinking, why can't he appear on both? Why can't he appear on AEW or Impact Wrestling? Um, it's it's going it's going to be in the future. I think they they're going to wait until this pandemic um, uh, 
dies down and I know it's starting to die down, die down now and things are going to get back to normal uh, soon enough. And uh, if, if Kazichika Okada does appear on Impact Wrestling, it, it has to be in front of a crowd. They can't do it in front of a, a closed set. It has to be done in front of a crowd. And I think it'll be done in front of a big crowd uh, if they're able to um, get Kazichika Okada in Impact Wrestling. Uh, I, I expect him to appear in AEW. I, I can definitely see Okada going there and um, having a, a another fantastic match with Kenny Omega. They've had some classics for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, but if he came to Impact Wrestling, I'm thinking who would who would be a good opponent for Kazichika Okada? And uh, two guy two people come to mind. Two people come to mind. One, of course, Moose. I think Moose and Kazichika Okada would have an absolutely fantastic match. And my second choice would be. Josh Alexander, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Kazichika Okada versus the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, would absolutely be phenomenal. Like, oh, Alexander is such an incredible talent, and he could definitely hang with Kazichika Okada. So if Okada does come to Impact Wrestling, and I have a good feeling that we will see Okada in Impact Wrestling, I'm saying either Moose or the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, as opponents for the Rainmaker, Kazichka Okada. And I'm, I am I got my fingers crossed. To see Okada back, you know, I, I know, I know there's, there's been some, you know, bad blood in, in the past. Uh, like 18,000 years ago, uh, they misused Okada. Um, that was the Dixie Carter era. I think it may have even been before. It might have been the Dixie Carter era. It might have been before the Dixie Carter. I think it was a Dixie Carter era. They um, they grossly misused uh, Okada, and I'm not going to go into it. Uh, but that was, like I said, 27,000 years ago. And um, it's. I'm glad it's time to move on. It would be great to see Kazuchika Okada back in Impact Wrestling. Seeing Okada back in Impact Wrestling would definitely put a nail in the coffin of the um, the poor handling of him that happened 87,000 years ago. Uh, so, um, yeah, so let's keep our fingers crossed. I would love to see Kazuchika Okada in Impact Wrestling. And uh, speaking of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Young Lion Rita. Very, 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 very talented young lion is actually on excursion right now in the U.S. And in the past, when they would send the um, young lions on excursion to the U.S., uh, they would send them to to um, to Ring of Honor. Um, but uh, apparently, um, I, I guess uh, look as it looks now, the Ring of Honor New Japan Pro Wrestling partnership is over. But Renderita has been in the U.S. for quite some time, and he, I don't think he's ever been in Ring of Honor. I know he was. He went to the L.A. Dojo. New Japan Pro Wrestling has a, a dojo in L.A. where they train. Um, they train wrestlers there, and uh, they develop uh, new young lions. And uh, he's been um, working um, for New Japan Pro Wrestling US at the LA Dojo, and he's been working on various independent cards. And I'm a huge fan of Ren Narita. He's super, super talented. He's going to be a big star. Impact Wrestling, if they're smart, they inquire about Ren Narita. They, they, they talk to New Japan Pro Wrestling and say, look, look, he's on excursion right now. Not mu not too many independent shows are happening in the U.S. Why don't you send him over to Impact Wrestling and let him finish up his excursion here in Impact Wrestling? You know, I could see him going to Impact Wrestling, and he would be a major star. I could see him getting the X Division Championship, X Division Champion, holding that title, and... And even if he doesn't hold the title, even if they don't want him to win any titles, he would be a huge addition to the X Division. Um, X Division, and extremely talented, extremely talented. So if they're smart, you know, if they're smart, they contact. Maybe they. Hopefully, they've already done so, because uh, I know, uh, Ren, like I said, Renderita, he's been bouncing around from, on independent shows, uh, but to get him into Impact Wrestling and finish up the excursion there uh, with Impact Wrestling would be um, would be fantastic. I think it would be. Uh, um, better spot in Impact Wrestling than AEW because AEW, he could, he could kind of get lost in the shuffle at AEW. Uh, so I think uh, a um, a promotion like Impact Wrestling where they could use good young talent, uh, I think it would be the ideal place for Renderita to finish up his excursion here in in the U.S. before he heads back uh, to New Japan and becomes a megastar because uh, there, there's I, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to become a megastar when he when he heads back to to New Japan, and that and that's the beauty of young lions. They come over for excursion, they go back, and then when the next crop of young lions are ready to, to go to excursion, Impact Wrestling could inquire about a Yuya Omura or a Yota Suji um, 
to come on over, even a Gabriel kid, or even if they want to look at some guys here in, uh, and I don't know why they wouldn't want to, but uh, they have guys here at the, the U.S. Dojo, Clark Connors, um, I mentioned Gabriel Kidd, Alec Coughlin as well. They could they could have come over uh, to work some impact tapings. So um, there's a lot of possibilities there, a lot of possibilities there for impact wrestling to um, get some really good young young talent in the form of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Young Lions, to come over and work um, Impact Wrestling. You know, it, it just it'll be a win-win situation for everybody, in my opinion. And of course, they they before they <laughs> before they bring any of these uh, Young Lions over, they should definitely sit down and consult with New Japan Pro Wrestling to find out the direction that they want these um, Young Lions to go and, and not make any decisions on their own without the approval of New Japan Pro Wrestling because we don't want what happened 17,873 years ago, what happened with uh, Kazuchika Okada. We don't want that to happen again. We want, to, we want to remain in good graces with New Japan Pro Wrestling. So definitely consult with New Japan Pro Wrestling and sit down with them and um, find out the, the, the direction that the uh, that Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro, I'm sorry, find out the direction that New Japan Pro Wrestling would want these uh, young lions uh, to go in. Okay, so to wrap this up, there was a, uh, so let's go into something I haven't done in a while, and, and that's uh, dumb comments, dumb comments. So let's, uh, let's pull up the first dumb comment here. Uh, let's find it. I had it up and I lost it, but let's find the first dumb comment. I need to take my glasses off here. Nope. That's not it. We're gonna find. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had this. Uh, I had it up before. And, oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, so Impact Wrestling posted on Facebook that uh, cousin Jake is now Jake something. And this guy, and again, I don't, I don't want to say names. So, and so this guy writes, and that's why Impact is a second-rate company. <laughs> And that's why Impact is a second-rate company. It's not a second-rate company. Uh, but making wrestlers named Jake something. Okay. Okay. First things first with this guy. This guy is not really a professional wrestling fan. Um, he probably just watches the WWE, but he doesn't realize that Jake something has been Jake something for many, 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 many years, and he's been absolutely killing it on the independent scene. Impact Wrestling did not come up with the name Jake something. Jake something came up with the name Jake something, and he's been using it for many, many, many years. If you, if you're not familiar with the with the greatness of Jake something, um, send a uh, send a direct message to Rohit Raju and ask him how great Jake something is. Because Jake something and Rohit Raju on the independent scene, those guys had absolutely classic matches. If, if you're unfamiliar with Jake something, um, send a direct message to Josh Alexander. He'll tell you all about how great Jake something is. If you want to send me a message, send me a message. I'll tell you how great Jake something is. Jake something has been great for many, many, many years, and he's been using the name Jake something for many, many, many years. When you're ignorant and you don't really know much about professional wrestling and, and you're, you're, um, you're, you're insulting Impact Wrestling for – coming up with the name Jake something, which I think is a very good name, by the way. That that just goes to show your pro wrestling intelligence, uh, your pro wrestling stupidity, which is what this guy has. He's got a lot of stupidity, uh, doesn't know much about professional wrestling. Uh, probably just, like I said, watches the WWE, and, and that's that's once it, he's got the blinkers on, and it's just WWE and, and really nothing else. And he's got really nothing else to do but to uh, come on this page and, and make an insult um, at the company for something the company didn't even do. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so good one there. Good one there, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real good content. Real, real good comment there. Really good insult. And this was actually sent to me by my, uh, by my buddy, Pat. So Pat, thanks for sending this to me. And, um, cause I, I wouldn't have seen it otherwise, but thanks for sending this to me so I could, uh, I could, uh, discuss it on the show. So Pat, thanks a lot, my man. And, um, also on, um, there was another, I forgot which uh, which post. Um, it wasn't an Impact Wrestling post, but it was a pro wrestling site posted that Sammy Guevara was uh, upset with um, with Impact Wrestling, as I discussed earlier. And some some somebody wrote that, let's end this partnership already. You know, end this, end this or I, I think it was, I, I didn't copy it. I didn't take a photograph 
photograph of it. I think it was like, let's end this dumb relationship with Impact Wrestling already. Yeah, because it's because it's clearly a really dumb partnership. It's really a clear. It's really clearly a dumb partnership. It's not working. You know, there's been no buzz at all. You know, no nobody is a. Uh, Nobody really seems to care about it, right? It's just it was a partnership that happened, and nobody cares about it. There's no buzz. Nobody's talking about it. It's not working out, you know. So why don't we just end it? Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. Makes a whole lot of sense, right? You know, why why would you want to end this for? <laughs> why would anybody? You know, it's, it's, there's people out there that that just for some reason I don't know. They just don't like Impact Wrestling, no matter what Impact Wrestling does. I mean, Impact Wrestling could Impact Wrestling could get to a level. Where they have a, or they have a show, say at the at, at a football stadium, in in front of like 90, 91,000 fans, right? Say just say for just, I'm not saying this is ever gonna happen, but let's just say Impact Wrestling gets big enough where they have a show in front of ninety one thousand fans. These are the type of people that are gonna they're gonna jump on and say, oh, 91,000 fans, WrestleMania three, WWF WrestleMania three had ninety three thousand fans. You know what's the matter? They can't get ninety three thousand fans. You know that's another nail in the coffin for Impact Wrestling. <laughs> that's that's the type of people they are. No matter what happened, no matter what Impact Wrestling does, they're gonna they're gonna find something to to complain about. You know, so you know it's. It, it's just dumb, just dumb comments. You know, the, this guy wants their relationship to it. Okay, you know what? I, I'm sure, I'm sure Tony Khan, if, if Tony Khan, I'm sure he saw that uh, comment and Tony Khan said, hey, wait a minute, this guy doesn't like the relationship. This guy doesn't like the relationship with uh, that, that we have with uh, uh, Impact Wrestling. He thinks that we need to end it. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, hi, Scott Demore. Yeah, um, apparently there's a there's a fan on Facebook who doesn't like our who doesn't this is the this is the telephone <laughs> who doesn't like our, uh, our relationship. So you know what? That one guy, that one fan thinks it needs to end. So you know what? Let's end it. Okay, it's over. Done. Okay, so we're done. We're finished. Okay, okay, we're done. Thanks. Uh, that's the end. Okay, uh, and then that's and, and AEW and and Impact Wrestling. They hold a a huge uh, roster meeting. You know, it's it's a group roster meeting. Uh, the <laughs> Impact Wrestling roster and AEW roster are, are told to meet uh, in an undisclosed location to to keep the press away. <laughs> Where Tony Khan and, and Scott Demore and Don Callis are are standing in front of um, of the entire Impact Wrestling and AEW roster and saying, you know, what, guys, uh, there's a, there's a fan on Facebook who says that uh, we need to end the uh, AEW Impact Wrestling uh, partnership. He says he doesn't like it. He said it's not working out. So you know what? This one fan on Facebook feels that way. So you know what, guys? It's it's over. Uh, the whole thing's over. As a matter of fact, we're even gonna go and say we're we're folding. So so we're folding both companies. So <laughs> because of this one. Guy on impact on on Facebook, you know, guys, Impact Wrestling and the AEW are folding immediately. Sorry, guys, you're all out of work because of this one guy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so um, yeah, so it, it's just stupid, stupid comments. Is there's no reason why the, this guy doesn't like um, uh, the partnership? It's working out well. And now with New Japan Pro Wrestling on board, um, big big things are coming to, to Impact Wrestling. So uh, so you could take your comment and you could uh, basically stick it. You can make, basically stick it. Okay, folks. Well, this is this is uh, this is where I sign off. So uh, thanks a lot for listening today uh, and watching today. And uh, this is shooting up north. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye. <laughs>